Let's talk about Arch Manning for just a minute. Now, talks with Georgia are are picking up steam here. Uh, Georgia football, uh, Arch has has visited multiple times. The family seems to love it in Athens, etc. cetera. Uh, article from Dawn of the Dog said this past weekend, Georgia football hosted five-star quarterback Arch Manning and many other recruits as the dogs are in full recruiting mode while spring practice hits week two. He said, uh, the visit went well for the number one overall prospect. Uh, with this visit going well, they said, it's safe to say the dogs are the team to beat when it comes to landing the next Manning quarterback. Even with a quarterback room full of talent, which that's up for debate, I suppose, Georgia needs Manning because he is elite and could be the next great college football player to have his famous last name. Head coach Kirby Smart and offensive coordinator Todd Munkin have built a great relationship with Manning. They've gone to his basketball games and now have him back on campus after coming for a game back in September. Uh, It's his first visit to Athens since the fall, and he waited until his basketball season was done to start making more. Um, I, you know, every all the people around Arch Manning that are that are speaking, which is his high school head coach, et cetera, have told everybody like he really likes Georgia. Do you think Georgia is really the team to beat for Arch Manning? I got no idea. Jesus, I don't know what's inside this kid's head. Wait, tell me this. If you were Arch Manning, uh, would Georgia be one of the ones on... on uh, wait, how about this? Would Georgia be the team to beat for you? Because I think it no. might be for me. No. Not close. Like, not even, because not it, even a little bit. It seems that he is down to Texas, but he Alabama, and Georgia. Georgia. Like... Like, you can't ask me that because I don't like Georgia. True, but, I, I mean. How does, how does that make sense to ask that question? Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm talking about you getting into his head, not him getting into your head. Like, <laughs> well, but I just told you I don't know what's in his head. I don't know what he's true. seeing. I don't know what he likes. I don't know what matters to him. Well, I'll tell you this. A lot of people uh, assumed that David Cutcliffe was going to end up as an analyst on one of these on one of these teams, right? Georgia, Alabama, or Texas. And David Cutcliffe ain't being that. Uh, he was named the SEC Special Assistant to the Commissioner for Football Relations, which I, I found... no idea what that job does. Who knows? Who knows? But he's I'm working sure for the Cutcliffe SEC. Cutcliffe doesn't know what that job does. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy Sam from uh, Westlife Pirates uh, told me that, you know, he could still be an analyst and, and probably still do this job. I don't know that the SEC would allow him to work for the SEC and be an analyst for Alabama or Georgia. I think there's... Oh, there's sure a com- would. It's a conflict well, of interest. Look just the other way. <laughs> you think they give a shit about conflicts of interest when it comes to one of their prestigious schools? It, probably not. Probably not. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, I, I'll tell you why I think Georgia would be number one on my board is Texas... It, you know there's always something kind of crazy going on over there. Alabama, you don't know how long Nick Saban is going to hang around. Uh, and at Georgia, they have not had a like a really, really good quarterback. So, I, you know, if, I'm, if I know that I'm a good quarterback and I know that there's skill talent there and I know that the offensive line and defensive line are going to be good, like, that's the place to go. I mean, I feel like Georgia is the most sturdy team uh, outside of Alabama, and I think they're even more sturdy than Alabama because of Saban's age. So if I was Sarge Manning, yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to go somewhere where my uncles have already played, right, because that's just way too much to live up to. Uh, Georgia just won a national championship without a good offense, right? And that's I know Georgia fans that watch this are going to be like, yeah, we had a good offense. It was really efficient last year. Look, Stetson Bennett was not a great quarterback. Arch Manning is a great quarterback, at least from what we have seen thus far. So... That's the way that I would go with that. Um, but I, you, you got any more thoughts on that topic before we move off of it? Well, my biggest thought is, is if my mentality would be to go, I'm not going somewhere where they just won a bunch of championships. Yeah. I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to be the first. Like, I, like that's just okay. – or, or, or the first in a long time. Like if he chooses Texas and he's the guy that brings Texas back, like they go into the SEC – and he wins a national championship at Texas, like, that's a big, big deal. Like, I'm not going to Alabama. I'm not going to Ohio State. I'm not going to Clemson. I'm not going to Georgia. I'm not going to a blue blood that that just that wins all the time. 
I'm not going to a place where the deck is stacked and I have every benefit in the world. I'm not going to a place where that's probably going to be the best roster I ever play on if I have NFL aspirations. That's, I'm not a, doing that's that. a good point. Because that doesn't actually prepare you for the next level. Yeah, all those guys from those schools get drafted. And then check in with me in five years and see how many are still in the league. And if they are in the league, let's see how good they are in the league. That's a it's a very valid point. When all your greatest highlight reels are from when you were in college and you've been in the NFL for three or four years, that's a problem, Keith. Yeah, I don't think so you're no, wrong. I'm not I'm not picking any of those schools if I have those aspirations. I'm not doing. Yeah, no, I it you you do make a lot of sense. You do make a lot of sense. Uh, if he's going somewhere where the stack is decked, I think Georgia would make the most sense. Peyton it, went to Tennessee. Tennessee wasn't a juggernaut. Tennessee wasn't a monster. Peyton made him that. Yes. Eli went to Ole Miss. Ole Miss never been a juggernaut. They weren't even a juggernaut when he was there. They were super competitive. <laughs> they were really good, and they almost won the SEC West. But that's, that's it. With, with, so to uh, say I can't go to one of those places, which, hey, I know he's not going to either of those places, but I'm just yeah. saying no, like to say, well, those are off the board because my uncles went there and I can't do what they did. Oh, you mean you can't win a national title at Tennessee because Peyton didn't do that? You mean you can't win the SEC West at Ole Miss because Eli never did that? True. What, what are you talking about? True. No, no, you're not wrong. So, so he could go. He could go anywhere, and I have a feeling he's going to pick one of these big boy schools because that's what we've talked here. Now, just take the easiest path to success. That's it. That's all people are going to remember is how many rings you got. And yeah. if you flail out in the NFL, who cares? Because our family doesn't need the money, so it won't matter. You'll yeah. get a great TV deal somewhere because that's what we do, because we're great on TV. His, uh, his and NIL deals them. in college are going to be absurd. Just absolutely no, see, They might not be, because his mom and dad don't need the money. And so he might, they might not want him to be obligated to do all of these extracurricular things outside of work, outside of school. Hey, you got a point there. Because you those NIL deals, they come with strings, all right? But oh, yeah. Those guys are doing work for them. You're showing up at car dealership, and you're shaking hands, and you're kissing babies, all right? You're putting in time kissing people's ass and, and waving to the folks, okay? And that's something the Mannies have never really done. And they damn sure never done it for months. Oh, yeah. No, you you are so right so, about so, that. So I disagree with you on the NIL deals. Now, he might get a couple of commercials. That's a little different, though. And I don't oh, know yeah. that his family is going to really want to be a part of all of that at his age. I will, I will say this. The options will be endless. Now, whether that's or not right. he takes those, now that's a whole different that's deal. Right. Now, that's, that's yeah. a different conversation. Exactly. But, 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 I, but I, I know that his family is letting him make this decision. And this is not my hate, because I have no hatred for Georgia. I just don't like them. But, but I, don't, I don't have any hate. Like, it's not Ohio State. It's not Alabama. All right? I, I just, I, I would not pick that because, because they just won. And so if you go there and you win, you're, you're, you're in the same, people are going to put you in the same path the honor of Stetson Bennett. And if you don't win, they're going to say, damn, Stetson Bennett won. You didn't. <laughs> like, that's the problem. Yeah, it kind of, it but holds if, you up but to if a... He picks but if I'm you pick you. one of these other schools, and you can even go to a good school, you go to a really good school. Like let's, and I'm not saying that shoot, but because they just won, you know. But like, if he chose Texas, if he chose Oklahoma, if he chose Arkansas, if he chose, you know, I mean, you know Arkansas, if you go to a big school, but if he chose a big brand school that hadn't won in a long, long time, then yeah. then yeah. you get to put your mark on that school. That's a that's a very good point. He might go join uh, Sam Pittman over in Arkansas. <laughs> well, I, I would say this: that would, I would, if he's not going to Baton Rouge, which he's not, that would be if I got to pick the school, it would either be Arkansas or Auburn. Yeah, okay. because you're taking two places that have been really low recently, but they have crazy fan bases and they're really fun when they're good. That's a that's a valid point. Valid point. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.